In this video, we're diving into a topic that's as fascinating as it is crucial to understand, the surprising foods that can sabotage your fat loss. Many of us are on a quest to shed those stubborn pounds. We hit the gym, count our steps, and try to eat healthily. But did you know that some healthy foods might be secretly stalling your progress? It all comes down to understanding nutrition and the role it plays in weight management. Food is not just fuel. It's a complex world of proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. And sometimes what appears healthy on the surface might not be doing your waistline any favors. So today, let's pull back the curtain on these deceptive foods and arm ourselves with knowledge. Join us as we unveil the 10 surprising foods that can sabotage your fat loss. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Starting our list at number one, we have rice cakes. Now, you might be thinking, rice cakes, aren't they a healthy snack? Well, not quite as you might think. Rice cakes are often marketed as a low calorie, diet friendly food. But here's the thing. While they are low in calories, they are also low in nutritional value. They don't offer much in the way of vitamins, minerals, or fiber, which are key to maintaining a healthy diet and supporting weight loss. Moreover, rice cakes have a high glycemic index, also known as GI. The glycemic index measures how quickly a food can raise your blood sugar levels. Foods with a high GI can cause a rapid increase in blood sugar, followed by a sharp drop, leaving you feeling hungry sooner. According to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, there's a strong link between high GI foods and weight gain. The study suggests that these foods can lead to increased hunger and overeating, thereby sabotaging your weight loss efforts. So, while rice cakes might seem like a light and easy snack, they could actually be setting you up for a cycle of hunger and overeating, and that's not what you want when you're trying to lose weight. Next time, choose a snack with more fiber and protein to keep you full longer. This could be a handful of nuts, some Greek yogurt, or even a piece of fruit. Remember, it's not just about the calories, it's about the quality of those calories too. Moving on to number two, think twice before reaching for that energy bar. Now, energy bars may seem like a convenient and healthy snack option. They're portable, easy to eat, and often marketed with words like protein and fiber, but not all that glitters is gold. Many energy bars are packed with high levels of sugar. How high, you ask? Some can contain the equivalent of four teaspoons of sugar. That's nearly as much as a can of soda. And we all know the detrimental effects of sugar on our waistline. But there's more. It's not just about the extra calories. A study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association's Internal Medicine section found a significant link between added sugars and an increased risk of dying from heart disease. That's right, overconsumption of sugar doesn't just contribute to weight gain, it also poses a serious risk to your heart health. So the next time you're in the snack aisle, remember this. Not all energy bars are created equal. Look for those with minimal added sugars and a good balance of protein, fiber, and healthy fats. Better yet, why not opt for a homemade snack? A handful of nuts or a piece of fruit can provide the energy boost you need without the hidden sugars. To conclude, energy bars can be a double-edged sword. They can offer convenience and nutrition, but they can also be sugar-laden traps. So, be savvy, read those labels, and make the right choice for your health and your weight loss goals. Opt for a homemade snack or a bar with minimal added sugars. At number three, we have white rice. This seemingly innocent grain might be a staple in your diet, but it's also a refined carbohydrate that can contribute to weight gain. White rice goes through a refining process that removes its bran and germ, leaving behind a grain that's low in fiber and can spike your blood sugar levels. According to a study published in the British Journal of Nutrition, there's a direct link between the consumption of refined grains, such as white rice, and an increase in waist circumference. This is because these types of grains can cause rapid spikes and drops in your blood sugar, leading to increased hunger and potential overeating. But don't worry, you don't have to completely eliminate rice from your diet. Instead, consider swapping white rice for brown or wild rice. These alternatives retain their bran and germ, making them a much richer source of dietary fiber. 
By making this simple switch, you can keep your blood sugar levels stable, feel fuller for longer, and potentially aid your weight loss efforts. So the next time you're thinking of having a bowl of white rice, remember, consider swapping white rice for brown or wild rice to add more fiber to your diet. Next up at number four, beware of sugary drinks. Now, you might be thinking, I know, I know, soda is bad, but it's not just the obvious culprits like cola and lemonade. Even drinks labeled as healthy, like fruit juice, can be overflowing with sugar. To put it into perspective, a single cup of orange juice can contain around 23 grams of sugar. That's almost as much as a chocolate bar. Now, why is this a problem? Well, when you consume sugar in a liquid form, it doesn't fill you up the same way solid food does. This means you end up consuming more calories than you might realize. To make matters worse, your body processes liquid sugar faster, leading to a spike in your blood sugar levels. Over time, this can lead to weight gain and increase your risk of health issues like heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Don't just take my word for it. A study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found a strong link between the consumption of sugary drinks and obesity. They found that for each additional sugary drink consumed per day, the risk of obesity increased by a whopping 60%. So what can you do? Try swapping sugary drinks for water, herbal tea, or homemade infused water. These alternatives can keep you hydrated without the extra calories. Plus, they have the added benefit of helping to curb your sugar cravings. Remember, every small change counts when it comes to your health. At number five, we have diet drinks. Sure, they're marketed as a guilt-free way to enjoy your favorite fizzy beverages, but did you know that the artificial sweeteners in diet drinks can actually lead to weight gain? That's right, these zero-calorie substitutes may seem like a dream come true, but they can turn into a nightmare for your waistline. Here's the science. Research indicates that artificial sweeteners can confuse our bodies. When we consume something sweet, our body anticipates calories. But when those calories aren't delivered, it can trigger increased cravings for high-calorie foods. Think of it like a promise that's not kept. Your body is left wanting more. And that's when you might reach for that extra slice of cake or bag of chips. And it doesn't stop at weight gain. A study published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal found links between the consumption of artificial sweeteners and an increased risk of obesity, heart disease, and other health problems. Pretty scary stuff for something that's supposed to be diet friendly, right? So what's the alternative? Well, it's pretty simple. Opt for drinks without artificial sweeteners like water or unsweetened tea. These options may not give you the sweet kick that diet drinks do, but they're much kinder to your body and your weight loss goals in the long run. So next time you're thirsty, think twice before reaching for that diet soda. Coming in at number six, we have frozen dinners. Now these might seem like a convenient option after a busy day, but have you ever taken a moment to glance at the nutrition facts? Many of these frozen meals are packed with sodium. Consuming high levels of sodium can lead to water retention, and that's not what you want when you're trying to shed some pounds. But it's not just about the sodium. Many frozen dinners also lack the nutrients your body needs. They may fill you up, but they don't fuel you up. You see, your body needs a variety of nutrients to function at its best, and these meals often fall short. In fact, a study published in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine linked processed foods, like many of these frozen dinners, to obesity. The researchers found that people who ate more processed foods were more likely to gain weight. So what's the solution? Consider preparing your own meals with fresh ingredients for a healthier option. This way, you have control over what goes into your body and you're not falling into the frozen dinner trap. At number seven, fast food finds its place. Now, we all know that fast food is a convenient choice when we're short on time or simply craving a quick bite. But here's the deal, folks. Fast food is often loaded with calories, sodium, and unhealthy fats. When you're trying to shed those extra pounds, these are the very things you want to steer clear of. A study published in The Lancet a highly respected medical journal found a strong link between fast food consumption and weight gain. The research shows that people who regularly consume fast food are more likely to gain weight and become obese. This is due to the high energy density of fast food, meaning it packs a lot of calories into a small volume of food. Fast food meals also tend to be high in sodium, which can lead to water retention and bloating. 
Not to mention most fast foods are high in unhealthy fats, which can contribute to heart disease and other health problems over time. So what's the takeaway? It's not to completely eliminate fast food from your diet, but to be mindful about your choices. Opt for healthier alternatives where possible, like salads, grilled chicken, or even a veggie burger. Remember, moderation is key in maintaining a balanced diet and achieving your weight loss goals. Try to limit fast food consumption and choose healthier alternatives when possible. At number eight, beware of big box cereals. You may think starting your day with a bowl of cereal is a healthy choice, but not all cereals are created equal. Many of the popular brands you see on supermarket shelves are loaded with sugar. Yes, that's right, sugar, that sneaky saboteur of weight loss. In fact, a study published in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association found a strong correlation between the consumption of high sugar cereals and weight gain. These cereals are often marketed as low fat or heart healthy, but don't let those buzzwords fool you. They're still packed with sugar and sugar, as we know, is a significant contributor to weight gain. So what happens when you start your day with these high sugar cereals? Well, you're essentially fueling your body with quick burning energy that leaves you hungry again in just a few hours. This can lead to overeating and ultimately weight gain. Does this mean you need to ditch cereals altogether? Absolutely not. There are plenty of healthier cereal options out there. Look for brands that are low in sugar and high in fiber. These cereals offer a more sustained energy release, keeping you full and satisfied for longer. So when it comes to breakfast, remember this. Choose cereals with less sugar and more fiber for a healthier start to your day. Coming in at number nine, alcohol. Now you might be thinking, but isn't red wine good for you? Sure, in moderation, some alcoholic beverages might have certain health benefits, However, when it comes to weight loss, alcohol can be a real game changer and not in a good way. Let's dive into the science of it. A study from the American Journal of Nutrition found a strong correlation between alcohol consumption and weight gain. You see, alcohol is quite calorie dense. Just one gram of it packs a whopping seven calories. That's almost as much as a gram of fat. And those are just empty calories, devoid of any nutritional value. Moreover, alcohol can lower your inhibitions making you more likely to reach for that extra slice of pizza or bag of chips. It's like a double whammy for your weight loss goals. Also, let's not forget about those sugary mixers and cocktails. They can significantly ramp up your calorie intake, pushing your daily calorie count into the red zone. And there's more. Your body treats alcohol as a toxin and prioritizes getting rid of it. This means that while your liver is busy metabolizing alcohol, it's not focusing on burning fat. So essentially, alcohol puts your body's fat burning on pause. So while an occasional drink won't derail your weight loss journey, frequent drinking might. It's all about balance, folks. Consider moderating your alcohol intake to support your weight loss goals. And finally, at number 10, flavored yogurt makes the list. You might be surprised, right? After all, yogurt is often touted as a health food. But here's the catch. While yogurt itself is a nutrient-dense food packed with protein, calcium, and probiotics, flavored varieties often come loaded with added sugars. According to a study published in the Journal of Nutrition, there's a clear link between high sugar dairy products, like many flavored yogurts, and weight gain. The researchers found that added sugars in these products can significantly contribute to an excess of daily caloric intake, which when not burned off, can lead to weight gain over time. In fact, some flavored yogurts can contain up to four teaspoons of sugar in a single serving. That's almost as much as a candy bar. This excess sugar not only contributes to weight gain, but can also lead to spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels, leaving you feeling hungry and lethargic. So how can you enjoy the benefits of yogurt without the extra sugar? It's simple. Opt for plain yogurt and add your own fresh fruit for a healthier option. This way you can control the amount of sugar you're consuming and get a dose of fiber and antioxidants from the fruit. Remember, the key to a healthy diet is balance and moderation. And there you have it, 10 surprising foods that can sabotage your fat loss. We've journeyed through the supermarket aisles from the rice cakes and energy bars on the shelves to the white rice in the grains section. We've sipped on sugary and diet drinks, ventured into the frozen dinner section, and even made a pit stop at the fast food joint. We've explored the towering aisles of big box cereals and considered the impacts of alcohol on our journey. Lastly, we've delved into the sweet deception of flavored yogurts. 
Understanding the nutritional content and potential pitfalls of these foods is a crucial step in achieving your weight loss goals. It's not just about cutting out foods, but about making informed choices and finding healthier alternatives. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Thank you for watching and remember, knowledge is the key to achieving your health goals.